I'm welcome back to the channel and I'm literally I'm lost, literally just getting up for uh, work there but I've seen some interesting Digimon mo news here so I just wanted to like I know make a quick kind of video just talking about it um it's, it's kind of odd that we see something like this um <clears throat> so we come over here we've got the Digimon Twitter page and it's got like uh Razor Monster Hunter Monsters Digimon so obviously it's like a crossover with Monster Hunter I'm not gonna pretend I know a lot about Monster Hunter because I genuinely don't but I just think as a concept this is kind of interesting uh just to see Digimon take on another crossover the last one we've seen was with Metaboss I don't think they've done any before that outside of their or in their own brand uh they've done a couple since outside then I think they had something with some mobile game or something uh, but yeah, it is interesting to see them take up an order, especially something as big as Monster Hunter here, which is really cool. Um, so introducing the specially designed digital color, uh, <clears throat> uh, digital monster color, Monster Hunter 20th edition, uh, Rathalos color and Zingori color to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. So if you come down here, um, have a look at the devices here. Ah, won't let me, won't let me, won't let me uh, see if I can open them up. So I can open here and uh, look at it here, but you see, like they've they've got two like different designed uh, devices here, which look really cool. So they are again, it's the Digimon version color uh, again, basically is in terms of the the shell. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting tired of this shell, though. I am <laughs> interested to see. Now I'm, I probably won't pick one of these up myself, just because again, I'm not a fan of Monster Hunter. But I think if you are a fan of Monster Hunter, I think this is kind of huge. Um, but I. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm getting tired of this old design, and that's one thing I will say, uh, but I am interested in the new sprites here, so these are all monsters from Monster Hunter, I'll go through the trailer in a second, we can kind of see them a bit better, um, but yeah, they look really cool, um, I love the detail, you don't, see this picture obviously because it's zoomed in doesn't kind of do them much justice, um, but the sprites actually look awesome. Uh, also, also, we've got like the design then of some of the main monsters. So you got this guy over here as the picture in the shell. This one and this guy over here. I don't know the names of them. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I do know a lot of you guys uh, do like Monster Hunter because I spoke to a few years before. And that's just, I don't know, I've been asked to cover the game a few times. Um, I played it once on stream and I absolutely sucked at it. <laughs> so that's my only kind of like time venturing into Monster Hunter's world. Um. But yeah, let's have a quick look at the trailer here. So Digimon version color Monster Hunter 20th edition. There's two different versions, I don't know the name of the monsters. But yeah, you see the sprites here. Uh, so you do see, like, I don't know, just like I said, they're a bit more, like, blown up a bit. So you can kind of see, like, the different textures or colors or whatever that they have gone on here. Um, but yeah, damn, it looks really cool. It just looks the shade and stuff. See, it... We didn't have the colored uh, devices for a long time, so it was really kind of weird. I suppose when you see just the dot images, some of them are really hard to make out, but since we have like the color sprites now, it's really easy to make things out and just kind of see exactly where things are supposed to fit and what is, uh, what's what. And um, the color devices themselves are actually a lot of fun. My only gripe with them was that there just wasn't enough monsters on each one, especially coming off from the version 20th, where we had so many different versions all on one device. Uh, I'm kind of rambling now a bit, but uh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's one thing I do really appreciate about these color devices. Yeah, and like just the different tones of white and stuff is kind of what I'm liking. I, f I feel like this spray could have been a bit better. I feel like they could have done a lot better. That, that face just looks a little bit flat to me. Maybe it's just they could have done a little bit more with the shading. I'm not an expert in sprite art, by the way. But I don't know. I feel like some of them, uh, the, the textures uh, could have been done a little bit better. Uh, textures? I suppose the color palettes? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> again, not a sprite artist, uh, but I just feel like something could have been better. I like this guy. Maybe a little bit, bit too blue. That one looks awesome. Ah, uh, screw is fine. Uh, hold on, this guy here. Again, I I don't know these guys, um, but damn, I love this spray here. I know big dragons and stuff. I, I suppose Monster Hunter, when you think about it, it really suits the Digimon just because of all the dragon stuff. Like Digimon is fucking huge for dragons. So hang on. You got here a number of monsters that are going to be on. So what's that? 36 monsters on it? Which is pretty decent, I suppose, for like, again, when you look at what we got with the version 20, which there was so many, only so many monsters on that device. Again, the color devices do so much 
have for the v-pet if you're if you're interested in v-pets or whatever just having a color uh, device is just it's i suppose a new gimmick uh but it is uh, a lot of fun just kind of like seeing all these new different designs or whatever that are done color now with they have a crossover uh with another brand uh, it makes me kind of want to i suppose i'll go on i'll go on to that at the end because i'm gonna be kind of rambling probably go off tangent but um yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of excited to see what they do with this oh obviously then uh we've got like yeah you can have a digimon crossover <laughs> actually crossing over some digimon so we've got like a, a greymon crossover with this other dragon thing here i i'm not i'm not even gonna pretend i know it's not pronounced that but yeah that's it there it and when I seen this this morning, it kind of reminded me of. Do you remember those? Uh, no, I think they still go around. It was like you, there's these like apps you can get where you can fuse like two different Pokemon or Pokemon and Digimon together. Um, I've seen some YouTubers kind of do stuff like that where they kind of mess around with those things and you like fuse them together and it makes this random kind of design. That's what this kind of reminded me of. Like you can definitely see like just the Greymon head. Uh, some of the sp the uh stripes here from greymon and then you've obviously got the rest of the monster or whatever is it, it that's just just kind of what that reminded me of let see garurumon now because they got garurumon and greymon it makes me wonder are we gonna see like an omega mon kind of crossover monster hunter thing i don't know um it just looks it, it's an interesting kind of concept um we have seen it before obviously with metabots um, I, I kind of hope that they do more stuff like this. And I said it when Metabots came out. I wanted to see them do more crossovers. Hopefully these become a lot more uh, common for us. Not so much that where the gimmick just gets, okay, okay, it's Digimon again. But I don't know, just every now and again, I wouldn't mind seeing some crossovers. So let's see now. Yes, that's the price there, the release date and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I suppose I just wanna have a chat for two seconds just about some of this stuff. I, I, did, I think my camera keeps dying. I, I think it's it's on the way out. <laughs> so it might have been dead for the whole lot of that. Uh, there we go. But basically, um, sorry, go full screen again. Why not? But basically, um, I, I love when they do these crossover things, like especially when they've done the, the Digimon and Metabot stuff. Like, So they had it in, was it Metabot S or Metabot S for the, the mobile game? So you had some Digimon crossovers over there. And then we also had some crossovers then within the, the DIM cards for the Digimon VB. I'd like to see them return to Metabots, but do a lot more with Metabots. Um, even if they just had more like um, stuff like Omedamon brought over. Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's... I feel like they could have done an awful lot more, especially if Metabots was go the other way around and borrow from Digimon. But in terms of Digimon, like putting stuff in their own uh, work. So I lost train of thought there. Um, but yeah, no, I suppose another one I'd like to see is uh, Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Yu-Gi-Oh has just got some cool monsters, stuff like Blue Eyes, White Dragon and stuff like that. Even some of the OG monsters, but add in some of the new stuff as well. Like, I don't know. I think Yu-Gi-Oh has a lot of potential there to do some crossover things like that. Now again, Capcom or Konami, uh, they don't really do much like video games or anything like that as far as, far as outside the Yu-Gi-Oh uh like the, was it master duelist uh that came out there a little while back i don't think they really do Yu-Gi-Oh games like they used to do anymore i don't know if they'd be open to stuff like this but this again i'm just going off of what could possibly happen um or stuff i'd like to see yeah i, I, th I think metabots and Yu-Gi-Oh are probably the, the main ones for me maybe beyblades i've seen beyblades kind of making a little bit of a return but yeah i just want to keep this kind of uh short anyways but that's that's just some of my thoughts on that again I'm not a big fan of Monster Hunter, but I think if you are a massive fan of Monster Hunter, I think this is something really cool. Uh, especially if you're a fan of both Digimon and Monster Hunter, I think this is something that's definitely like a must-have. Because uh, I don't think they're going to do these a lot. This is a premium Bandai thing, so it's going to be very limited. As far as premium Bandai devices, they're extremely limited in that they normally only run them once maybe twice if you're lucky um but for stuff like this is i i, I imagine it's gotta be like a one-off especially to do with licensing and stuff so yeah I, I think if it's something that you're interested in definitely look into it and try to get it um just having the collection i suppose uh, but yeah um thanks for watching and i see you again like subscribe all that good shit and bye bye